Yo, what's good, YouTube? Let's get right into this video, gang. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel, y'all. I want to wish. Oh, look, look, look. This, before we start this fucking video, okay? Like, I want to wish everybody a uh, happy Christmas, a merry Christmas, bro, and, and, and a happy merry freaking New Year. You know, we're going into 2024 strong as shit we're still alive gang if you're watching this video you know what i'm saying like you're still alive that's good going to 2024 okay and i want to see if i can hit 10k subs yo i want to see if i can hit 10k subs in 2024 okay so i need y'all to run me up to 10k yo okay uh merry christmas and a happy jolly new year okay man right okay so Let's get right into this video, man. You know, the the seven deadly sins of rappers, bro. Seven, seven deadly sins of rappers. A lot of rappers sin. A lot of rappers, man. They do some crazy shit. Snorting cocaine off of bitches' asses and shit. Whole types of crazy drugs. I mean, I do fucking weed. I do weed, but, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's cool. That's a fucking, you know, it's not like fucking molly or or lean you know what i'm saying let's get right into this video man let's get right into this video there are seven rappers who together perfectly represent the seven deadly sins and i'll be covering them all starting with the sin of lust lust, lust oh. is described as an inordinate craving for the pleasures of the body oh man oh man i i i, I kind of sometimes have problems with that too man i'm not gonna the lie rapper who embodies lust to the fullest extent is none other than future Future is a rapper who's been in the game for over a decade and has become infamous for his toxic nature when it comes to women. She belongs to the streets. To the streets, fuck. Fucking, look, bro. She belongs to the streets. If she belongs to the streets, she belongs to the streets. It has nothing to do with lust, man. Okay. Simple future, like, come on. State that his music ranges from lyrics about infidelity to sexual prowess and pleading to exes that have moved on. Speaking of his exes, Future actually had children with a lot of them, having eight kids in total. Holy not shit, one, yo, this, two, yo, 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 this nigga dick is a sprinkler, boy. <laughs> Damn, eight, bro. Three, not four, not five. He got too much baby mamas, bro. I couldn't do it. Like, I know I'm going to be rich as fuck, okay? But when I'm rich as fuck, I'm not going to be fucking putting it in my dick in every fucking girl, okay? I'm not going to fucking do that. I'm not gonna fucking do that. Fuck. Okay, man. I'm not gonna do that. You can catch fucking STDs like that, bro. And and top it all off, these bitches could be trying to put me under child support. I'm not gonna be under fucking child support. The fuck, bro. That's and, and third of all, that's a fucking headache. That's a fucking headache. I'm not fucking doing that shit. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. The fuck. Not six, not seven, but eight different baby mamas with no marriages involved. A marriage he was involved in is that of NBA legend Scotty Pippen. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, bro, that, that was bad. This nigga future fuck Scotty's wife. Nigga fuck Scotty wife, bro. Crazy, bro. That shit crazy. That's why you can't be trusting these hoes, bro. You can't be trusting these hoes, bro. That's crazy. Wife Larsa, while they were at a rough point in their marriage. Some speculate that it was the reason for their eventual divorce. Another situation Future is infamous for is when he had an Instagram model fly out to him then ghosted her after she didn't want to get intimate. He had told her that he wanted to see her and that he'd pay her back a thousand percent of the flight cost when they met up. But after she arrived at the hotel, he told her to wait for him with lingerie on. The woman refused and then asked if she'd still be seeing him at all, to which Future responded with, I'm good love, enjoy. I left a sin in the laws on cause she wasn't touching the toes, no. All the Future's lustful infamous it like be like that. Being created where people place his face over a toxic quote about women. Futures actually embraced this trend, showing off some of the quotes himself during a show. On everything, yo. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like, look, I'm a nice guy, bro. But look, man, if, if if I gotta do a bitch like that, I'll do a bitch like that, bro. I I I future a bitch, okay? I'll I'll be on some like on some city boy shit. I ain't gonna lie, cause trying to play with me, man. All I could do is give respect. 
nigga, nigga, nigga say I'm a bitch for being a nice guy. Nigga, I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice guy, nigga. I'm not gonna be rude just so another girl could like me. The fuck. But yo, I will, I, I will pull a future on these bitches though. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm nice to an extent, bro. All right. Ways anytime in the near future, someone who doesn't have a future because they were killed is the rapper I chose to represent the sin of wrath. Oh, King Vaughn. Oh my gosh, bro. Th that was crazy. King Vaughn's shit was crazy, bro. Like, I'm not gonna lie. That nigga crashed out. That nigga crashed out. Oh, that nigga crashed out, but I kind of blame the black community for that. I blame the black community for that, you know, because as black people, we kind of like to egg each other on, uh, you know, when it comes to crashing out and just doing dumb shit and illogical shit, okay? And that's just something that's wrong with the black community, you know what I'm saying, bro? That's something that we need to fucking fix, okay? Because that's glorified. That's glorified, buddy. That shouldn't be glorified. <laughs> okay? What the fuck is this, a knockoff version of Fortnite? Get the fuck off my screen. Wrath is defined as the fuck? feelings of anger, rage, and even hatred. A perfect match for this description is the rapper King Vaughn. King Vaughn was a rapper from Chicago, Illinois, who's largely considered one of the most influential figures in the drill genre. He was known for look, his man. lyricism. Look, look, man. We're probably gonna do. We're probably gonna do three deadly sins. Probably gonna do three deadly sins. I'm not gonna lie. Because I'm not trying to stretch the video as well as out. the aggressive style he delivered it with. He frequently rapped bars involving heinous crimes such as murder. But it was his involvement in crimes away from music that really show off the full capacity of his rap. Vaughn first started getting involved in local gang politics when he was only in fourth grade. And was bringing guns to school by the age of 13. His first What? Law 13, bro? The age of 13, bro? That's crazy, bro. Like... The fact that a, a little thirteen year old got a got a gun, like that shit nigga, that's a that's a nigga's soul in the chamber, bro. That's a nigga's soul in the chamber. I mean, honestly, just because someone has a gun doesn't mean that they'll necessary they're necessarily dangerous. Because you have fucking knives. Like there's knives all around us. Like if someone wanted to fucking kill you right now, they just go pick up a fucking kitchen knife and stab your ass. Okay, bro. But uh, bro, that's crazy, bro, like how you carrying guns to school? How the fuck they even let this nigga Vaughn through the school shit? Come on, bro. That's crazy, bro. I'm not gonna lie. That nigga Vaughn had it coming to him, bro. This nigga had it coming to him, bro. He a demon. He probably took many niggas' lives and did fucked up shit to a lot of people. Niggas like King Vaughn, bro. It's a sad case, bro. But this nigga is like... Oh, he, he, look, he's a product. He's a product of this matrix in the in the black community. He's a product of the matrix in the black community that's putting money in these Jewish people's pockets, just like what Kanye was talking about. Came at age 16 when he was charged with armed robbery in 2011, apparently robbing someone for their car at gunpoint. He was arrested again in November of 2012 for shooting at members of the Gangster Disciples, a rival of Vaughn's Black Disciples gang. On April 29th, 2014, Vaughn was arrested and charged with first degree murder and two counts of aggravated assault, but was released the next day due to inconsistencies. Man, this nigga Vaughn, bro, like, well, why these black niggas be doing all this hot shit, boy? Like, come on, bro, no gay shit, bro, but, but this nigga Vaughn, he don't look like, he don't look bad, bro. He look like he can get bitches, like he can get money. He look like he could, he, 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 he could definitely could have separated himself from that shit, my nigga. He definitely could have separated himself from that lifestyle, gang. And it's just crazy, bro. That just goes to show. It's not about it's not about how you look. It's about what's in you. A mo a, it even goes for girls, bro. A girl could look so good. But deep down inside, she a demon. She a demon, bro. Look, I know this nigga Vaughn had bitches on his dick. He crashed out for some bitches. But you really did you really need to crash out for a bitch, Vaughn? Vaughn, come on now, bro. R.I.P. Vaughn, bro. R.I.P. Vaughn. You know what I'm saying? Hope I, I wish he changed his life, but... Witness statements. 
Just three months later, Vaughn was charged with one count of first degree murder and two counts of attempted murder in connection with the shooting that killed one and injured two others. He was acquitted of the charges over three years later and was released on December 6, 2017. Later, in June of 2019, Vaughn and fellow O Block rapper Lil Durk were arrested in connection with the shooting in Atlanta. Prosecutors claim that the two rappers robbed and shot a man outside a popular drive in on February 5, 2019. After weeks in jail, Dirk was released on a $250,000 bond and Vaughn was released on a $300,000 bond. The crimes of Damn. The are, are just the ones Vaughn was charged. Yeah, them bonds is crazy, passing, man. He was accused of ones even more heinous. In April 20th, Hey man, these niggas really got money, gang. What the fuck? Yo, what? You got 300 racks of bond yourself out and you still doing dumb shit? That's just black people. I'm not gonna lie. Look, I'm black. I can say that shit. I'm black and I can say that a lot of my people are fucking retarded and dumb. A lot of people, a lot of black people actually don't think a lot a lot of them do a lot of them don't a lot of them don't i'm not saying it's all of them blow bro look bro uh, uh, you can't cancel me you can't fucking cancel me right for saying that because i'm fucking black i'm a monkey too bro i'm a fucking monkey too bro all right man i'm just speaking facts i'm just speaking facts right? I, 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 i'm jamaican i'm fucking jamaican all right fuck 23 the youtuber traplore ross uploaded a four hour long documentary about king vaughn calling him rap's first serial killer. The video was filled with evidence linking Vaughn to the murders of at least 10 people, including the murders of P5, Modell, Malcolm Stuckey, and Gakira K.I. Barnes. Chicago authorities actually concluded in 2021 that Vaughn was indeed responsible for the murder of Gakira Barnes. In addition to the 10 murders he was alleged to be the perpetrator of, he was also documented as the mandator to several other gang-related murders. According to the YouTube documentary, Vaughn's primary motive to commit murder was initially a result of gang disputes but was later being done simply for thrill all the wrath of on thrill seemed to have gone full circle. see this nigga a demon boy this nigga a demon in the skies boy i'm telling you boy bitch is gonna st bro Ugh, man, whatever bro it's crazy bro look at this nigga bro this, this nigga could have gone far in life he could have gone far if he wasn't a fucking demon as his own life was taken in similar fashion to how he allegedly took lives via a shooting. King Von was buried on November 14th, 2020 in his home city of Chicago. Another rapper that's from Chicago is the one I selected for the sin of pride. Money makes the world go round and round and round and round. They about to say, nigga, you got pride? The definition of pride is believing that one is essentially better than others, failing to acknowledge the accomplishments of others, and excessive admiration of the personal self. No rapper fits this description better than that of Kanye West. That's true. Kanye is one of That's the true. most That's not. artists of all time, and he's notorious for praising himself to the public, causing many to label him as a narcissist with a massive ego. My greatest pain in life is I will never be able to see me perform. He's called himself the greatest artist of all time on multiple occasions, like when he referred to himself. You gotta do that, though, bro. You have to do that, or else people... Look, bro, here's something about life, bro, that people don't understand, bro. You have to be in your own reality to a point where people... Like, bro, like... Or where am I even going with this shit? I, 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 I just forgot what the fuck I was, I was gonna say, man. Okay, I'm fucking high as shit. I just smoked. Give me a fucking break, YouTube. Alright, fuck. You know what I'm saying, bro? But look, niggas gotta understand, bro. If you don't big yourself up, then no one will. The Kanye, what Kanye's in, it, he's in a certain delusion that puts himself over everyone else. And to me, that's honestly smart. Because if you don't, then other people won't do it for you, bro. Like, come on, you gotta understand ye. You gotta understand ye. You have to understand ye, man. As the greatest artist that God has ever existed, uh, created. On the topic of God, Ye has labeled himself as a God multiple times and even has an entire song doing so titled, I Am a God. I am a God. Everybody says, who does he think he is? I just told you who I thought I was. A God. I just told you. That's who I think I am. Ye also has an entire yeah. song about himself. Yeah, talk your shit, nigga. Talk your shit. And, and nigga, you know what? More people should talk to themselves positively, you know? Because that's what you have to do. He thinks he's a god. He should, that's, that, As he should. As he should, the fuck? Fuck what you think, nigga. And you know what? I'm, bro, I'm the best YouTuber ever. 
I'm the best YouTuber ever. I don't give a fuck. Elf titled I Love yeah. Kanye. Oh, and the album that the song is on, Ye called it the best album of all time. On another song from the same album titled Famous, Kanye takes credit for Taylor Swift's rise to fame, citing his 2009 interruption of her VMA speech as the catalyst for her fame. Kanye had a very similar onstage incident in 2006 after losing out on an EMA award. Oh, hell no. This video costs a million dollars, fam. If I don't win, the award show loses credibility. I appreciate it, man. I pre you know, it's nothing against you. I've never seen the video. It's nothing against you. But hell no, nah, man. Gay also has a reputation. Yo, after, yo, bro. Yo, this nigga Kanye hate white people, bro. I'm not gonna lie. This nigga low key hates white people, bro. Probably not. Probably not. But, yo, that's, 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 that's out of pocket. I'm not gonna lie. That was out of pocket. That Taylor Swift shit. That's crazy. That was crazy, man for constantly delaying music and being late to scheduled events and continued lateness is actually a showing of pride as it tells those who must wait that their schedules are not a priority you should be honored by my lateness that i would even show up to this fake shit despite kanye's